testing the XR-8 helicopter, an experimental ship built for the Army. It's also known as the Syncropter, a term which signifies that the twin three-bladed rotors are closely intermeshed. This neutralizes torque forces and smooths rotor vibration. A six-cylinder air-cooled engine is housed directly behind the two-seater plexiglass cockpit. The length of the XR-8 is 36 feet, total rotor span 40 feet, weight 2,900 pounds, top speed approximately 100 miles per hour, service ceiling 8,500 feet, hovering ceiling 2,000 feet. Making use of its directional control feature, the XR-8 moves toward a small marked off rectangle to illustrate the accuracy of a helicopter landing in restricted quarters. Air Force films of another helicopter incorporating important new principles of rotary wing design. The big wooden blades are mounted over a stabilizing bar which acts much like a gyroscope giving the craft basic stability. Precision control features include a lever which directs the pitch of the rotor for rising and descending. Foot pedals control the small anti-torque tail prop, serving much like a rudder and giving directional control. Pitch control enables the helicopter to hover, needing no forward speed to sustain it in flight. It can fly at zero miles per hour. A conventional stick is moved in whatever direction the pilot wishes to travel. The craft can fly backward or sideward as easily as forward. The stick action tilts the plane of the revolving rotor and the helicopter travels in the direction of the tilt. Whatever its speed or flight pattern, the craft remains sensitive to the slightest change of controls. 